Well, hello folks. This is Sam Owens, and this is a continuation video for the uh, AceBot Smart Car. Uh, it's a STEM kit, which stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. We have completed the assembly of the car, and now it's ready for coding. That's the second process. Uh, first was the assembly, and then third is going to be the operation of the uh, vehicle. So, let's take a good look at it. Here it is. These are Muchen wheels. They uh, are special that allow the vehicle to go sideways, spin, and everything. So we're going to see a demonstration. That's what the guards are around on the table. This will make a a nice way of getting a good view of all the parameters of the vehicle. Uh, it's got four motors, one for each wheel, and this is for uh, 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 obstacle avoidance, and we'll try to uh, put that into it also. Uh, all of the wiring to the processor board right here, the power supply. Now, one of the things that uh, if you're looking at this video, you probably have already assembled your, vi uh, your car. And one of the things they told you in that special note to read first is you need to get the new batteries uh, for this. They don't come with batteries. So I'll introduce the batteries in a short little bit. Uh, this has got all kinds of sensors on here that uh, allow it to perform its various functions. Okay, enough of that, and now we're going to go to the coding process. And the first thing I have to do is take you to a screenshot on the computer of the documents uh, for the smart car. So I'm going to change the view. This demonstration is going to be showing you uh, setting up the app and uh, using the app to control the car. After you assemble the car, it would be good to let you be able to just jump right into an app and fully control the car, whereas programming takes learning and also you set up the parameters for the car to go forward, so many steps, go right. So it's, uh, it's a different learning process and it takes time. So this will give you quick uh, results right away to see your nice work of assembling it and seeing the car perform with your uh, smartphone and uh, an app. And now we select ACE Code Beginner. And right here are all the files. And this is the tutorial which you read first. And this is going to give you information as to how to assemble the car, how to do the uh, coding, uh, information and also the operation of the car. So we want to go there uh, at uh, in, in a little bit we're going to go there but first we're going to look at uh, the usage tutorial for the ACE code um, software. So we open this up, we open this. Now this is part of the programming, getting started with ACE code. There's other ways of putting the the programming into the uh, ESP32 controller. This is the easiest one. It's done with modules, so you can pull not modules over to make the car operate in a set program that you want it to operate without any interference for yourself. You're going to program it to do that. We're going to bypass that part and go to the app. We're going to the tutorial. And I'm going to show you the area that talks and shows you how to use the app. That's what we want to do, and we need to set it up. So we'll open the tutorial right here. Here are the areas for the infrared remote control. That's that little handheld remote control that you get with the car. Uh, this is uh, programming information for that and then a test, and also the web page control that you can set up. But we're going to do this one right here, main task number three, uh, app control, the movement of the smart car, page 69. So we're going to go right there. 
Now, here is where they talk about downloading the app. If you have an iOS phone, search the App Store for AceBot and download it. So that's what you would do right now. Before we go, I want to point out that you should read all of this information because it's going to tell you exactly how to set up the app and uh, operate it. So it's very important to slowly go through and read this very carefully and, and practice on the car as you're uh, setting it up. Okay, I think we all know how to download an app and this is the app the way it looks right there, uh, A-Spot. And now I click on it and this is how it's going to look right there. Now you're going to have to, I'm going to go back to the beginning of it. Uh, let's see. This is the beginning when you open it up. I was just looking at it earlier. And there's a lot of different applications that this app will work on. Uh, and we want to pick the smart car, which is right here. You click on the smart car. And then you have uh, the build, which will show you how to build it. You've already done that. So we want to go to control. So now we hit the control. And this is how you're going to actually move the car. And we'll see that later. And this is the actual speed, three. And you can go down and select uh, one. That's the slowest speed. You start out with that so you can get used to working with it. And you can go all the way up to five. Okay, now uh, here is the connect button. When the car is set with Wi-Fi and it's connected all up, this is, well, this is the way you access it, the Wi-Fi. It's right now trying to connect. We don't have any batteries in it. It wouldn't do it anyway. Plus, I haven't shown you to hook up the Wi-Fi. Okay, that means that it's not going to communicate uh, when uh, you turn this on and you have the program uploaded, which I have to show you in just a little bit, uh, it sets it to be able to transmit Wi-Fi so that uh, your smartphone app can connect to that Wi-Fi so that it can transmit and receive. So the first thing we have to do is put some batteries in it. These are the batteries that you're going to have to uh, order uh, and there's information on that read first uh, that you saw. So you should always be aware of that. Now, this is the holder right here. And this is negative. And you just push this in. Put that one in. They both have to go in. And then this one will go in here. And now I'm going to show you there's, there's a switch right over here. I've got the cover off because I've been charging them and waiting for it, but there is a cover that goes on it. Right here, this turns it on. And we turn it on and you right away get some lights. We're going to do this side because see, this is how the battery voltage is going in to your controller board is on the top. And this is a connection interface uh, on the top of your controller board. And right here is the USB uh, connection point. For this car to be able to connect to the Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi of the app, we have to load a program in from the program list. And I'm going to show that right now. And so I have to go back to the computer. Okay, I'm not going to go back in just to do this. But under this uh, section, AC code beginner, uh, number four is the program uh, files. This is all of the files that need to go into the ESP32 controller board. That's the brains, the computer of the car. So we need to find that uh, code right here at the bottom. It's 7 4 app control car and that's the one we want to open. We would uh, first thing you have to do is have the uh, software up for that um, uh, code, that ACE code. So let me get that uh, on here. It's an um, icon, and it's ACE code. This is how you load software into the 
controller card of the car. And uh, I showed you that, so let's open it. And I'm gonna put this over here and bring the car over here so we can see this. Okay, now what we have to do is connect the car. And the way we do it is you have to take a USB cord and I gotta tell you right now, my USB pour, a cord that came with the car was white and it turned out to be bad. I had to call the software uh, support people and they directed me to change the cord and I've changed the cord and it works. So if you have trouble, you might want to take that approach. Sometimes things just will happen, but the support group can really help you if you have any kind of trouble. Now, I plug this into the computer. And now what we're going to do is look for the, ah, right there, as soon as I plugged it in, COM3. See, when I unplug it, it says no device, devices were found. So this is what happens when I plug this in. That's what you want to see. Now when that happens, you also want to do this. Click on, just hover over, see, and it says burning, please hold. This actually gets it so that you can upload a uh, file. And the file we want to upload, and now I can pull this down, and I'm gonna go to the file. And now I click on, double click on this file. This is the uh, app control, right down there. Okay, there it is. And now it's going to load it in there and you have to have your, okay, it's very hard to do this and show everything, but this is uh, when I uh, hit that uh, uh, code twice, that uh, programming file, this is what comes up. And this is the part that's going to be uploaded. And I'm ready to hit the upload button. I've got the COM3, it's connected. And now it's telling me that this is the ESP32 card. And there's the password for the uh, Wi-Fi that I have to put in there. So I'm gonna be looking for this on my, uh, my phone and then that's the password to connect to it. So I have to push, push this right here, upload, and there it goes, and there it goes. And when it asks you if you wanna save this, you should say yes so that it saves it in the controller. And those are all the files that are going in. And this is how you program it. When you do get into programming, you're gonna build your program and then you'll upload it like this. Now this is allowing the app to work with the car. It's done, ask me do I wanna save it? Save. And there we go. Ah, look at that. Right there, ESP32 car, that's what was on there. And now I push this and it's gonna to connect to the car. That's the car right there. We are connected to the car with my Wi-Fi from the, uh, the car. This is not using your home Wi-Fi. And I don't have to put my code in because I've already signed in and it remembers me. But what it would do is ask you for the password. The password is a default, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You put that in and done, and you will be connected. So this is what you want to get to. Right now, we're connected. I can unplug this, and now you want to hit this little chain right there. That's how you connect the two together now. And it said it was connected. And see, it's highlighted a little bit. And now, if I push this up just a little bit, it's gonna take off that way, and I'm at slow speed. And if I wanna go back, whoop, I pull down. And if I wanna go sideways, like that way, 
And if I want to come back, if I want to go forward, if I want to turn right, and then I can go forward, and I want to turn right again, go forward, and then back, whoop, okay. All right, I'm gonna go back. All right, now we're gonna do what is called a spin. I can spin right. I can spin left. And uh, you can go all. That's just the basics. And then right down here are the features. Let's turn the light on, the LEDs. Let's see. There. There's the two lights on, off. I'm going to give it some music. Turn it off. And you can select different tunes. Okay, there it's off. And what you can do is tracking avoidance. Uh, we can do that one. Let's try that. Uh, now he's there. See, you see these hands? Okay, I, I gotta somehow hold that down. There. Now we're gonna see what he does, see? Okay, he's looking. Let's look. Okay, now I'm gonna see. That's got to stay on. Now I'm going to see if he'll go. Now, see, he doesn't have anything in front of him, but let's push this. See what he does. See, he sees the walls all around him. Backing up. And see, that's still on. So that's avoidance. If you had him out somewhere, but he's in a caged area right now, and that's hard for, but he's looking around to see where an opening is. Folks, with the AceBot app, you can play with this thing and make it do all kinds of things. And the more you work with it, you'll be able to use the other features and have it follow you. I just wanted to corral the area so I didn't have to move the camera around and try to get it to ride through the house. Let's see if we can do this. I want you to see how it spins. These are special wheels that when it's going forward, they turn the same way. But when you're spinning, look at that. Let's see. When you're spinning, see those go that way. And then when you spin this way, they go that way. That's how it's able to spin, by going in opposite directions. Okay, now this is backwards. See, they're going the same way backwards, and when you go forward, they go the same way. But spinning, they go in different directions. And that's spinning. And these allow it to crawl back and forth like that when they go in those opposite directions. It just moves it right around. Okay, just wanted to show you that. So, I hope you uh, have fun with yours and uh, you see what you can do. And the coding is going to be fun too, so go back and uh, uh, look that up uh, for the operation. Alright, I want to thank you very much for watching my video.